Hey guys, this is Joshua Broom from WinnersAndWinners.com. I want to follow my video from yesterday by highlighting Edson Barboza's continued disapproval of the questionable UFC Fight Night 172 verdicts. Barboza sounded off regarding his recent unanimous decision defeat by stating he deserves a winner's purse. Feeling burnt by iffy judging, Edson says if he doesn't receive just compensation, he will not fight again at 145 pounds for the world's largest MMA promotion. That may seem extreme to some, but many who saw the 34-year-old Octagon vet touch up Dan Ige last weekend have no qualm with the sentiment. Barboza stated via BJ Penn, quote, It is a crazy feeling. I know I won my last two fights. The people also know I won my last two fights. But my record says losses, so it is sad. I was 100% confident I beat Ige, end quote. Having lost his last three Octagon encounters, the slotted American top team member says even UFC President Dana White agrees the recent decision was a robbery. Barboza then claims backstage personnel echoed White and MMA social media's opinion concerning the weekend dampening outcome. Overall, an aging career fighter, once verging on title shot dreams, Barboza landed more significant strikes than Ige and knocked the Hawaiian down before later folding him with body strikes. It appeared after 15 minutes and weeks of harsh training, the Octagon vet would gain needed momentum. Instead, the fallout speaks for itself. That noted, it's easy to sympathize with Barboza. A professional athlete's shelf life and peak earning potential is only so long. Once physical tools diminish, years of sacrifice run their course. Also, during this pandemic, but even in ordinary circumstances, the financial hit from a bad decision loss takes its toll on the overlooked fighter and their family. I have no issue with Barboza speaking his mind while showing contempt and emotional hurt from another matchup he in all likelihood should have won. After 23 UFC appearances dating back to 2010, Junior Barboza has given his employer memorable moments and helped grow the brand into a worldwide phenom. Long after Edson retires, the UFC will continue profitable business as faces and names change. That stated, it's unfortunate to see any athlete's craft dedication overshadowed by outside factors. It's even more frustrating when that athlete is a respectful figure who has paid dues for over 10 years. Edson Barbosa deserved better. He knows it. His company knows it. The sporting world knows it. Again, a long look should be taken at combat competition judging. Unless a fight ends early, those three ominous ringside officials can make or break lives stretch far outside the arena. That's power. Barboza certainly isn't the first to encounter unfortunate scoring, and he won't be the last. But kudos to Junior for taking a stand. We've seen the story many times. However, perhaps the historic week of UFC action magnifies the moment. And personally, after this latest incident, I'd like to see increased oversight regarding decisions. I know judges are human, but Edson's bad luck seems a tad overstated. Anyhow, what do you guys think? Is Barboza's outspoken rant warranted? Did he overstep bounds or not step far enough? However you feel, leave a comment below. Personally, I feel Barboza said what he needed to say. Hopefully, there'll be no blowback from Dana White or company higher-ups toward the entertaining striker. And until next time, this is Joshua Broom from Winners and Winers saying it's great to have combat sports to discuss. Talk to you guys soon.